That is a tradition that we find inside of the Sahih of Imam Muslim on behalf of Sa'id, one of the great tabi'een of the Prophet, uh, tabi'een of the companions, those who followed the companions, radiallahu ta'ala an, Sa'id ibn Sahil, radiallahu an, Sa'id ibn Hisham. He mentions that he went to Sayyidat Aisha, radiallahu ta'ala anha, wa ardaha, and he asked her, ma huwa khulq Rasulillah. Uh, what was the character of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Wasallam? And she said to him, Ala taqra al Quran. Do you not recite the Quran? Ala taqra al Quran. Do you not recite the Quran? Kana khuluquhu al Quran. That his character was the Quran. The character of the very Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That is the character in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala praises inside of the Quran in the only time. The Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala uses the word khuluq in a positive sense. He uses it also in a negative sense in Surah Al-Shu'ara. But in a positive sense, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uses it in Surah Al-Noon. Noon. Wal Qalam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala swearing by Noon. And likewise, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala swearing by Al Qalam. Al Qalam by the pen. That is the pen, the pen, the primordial pen that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala swears by. That is the pen. That was instructed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uktub ma huwa ka'an wa ma sayyakun. And you write that which is and that which shall be. Uktub ma huwa ka'an wa ma sayyakun. In a tradition where the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, awwala ma khalaq Allahu wal qalam. That the first thing that Allah ta'ala created was the pen, qalam, that which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala swore by. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala instructs the pen, uktub, write, write. The pen asks Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Mada aktub, what shall I write? What shall I scribe? And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Uktub ma huwa ka'in wa ma sayyakun. Write that which is and that which shall be. That which is and that which shall be. In another version of the tradition, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Uktub, write. And the pen says, Mada aktub, what shall I write? And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Uktub, la ilaha illallah. Write, la ilaha illallah. Muhammad Rasulullah. Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. The pen inquires to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Woman Muhammad. Who is Muhammad? And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Muhammad, he is the one that if it was not for him, I wouldn't have created you. You would have not have been created if it was not for him. That's the pen that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala swears by. But one of the reasons why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to swear by that pen is in order to introduce you to the Great One, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, وَنَّكَ لَعَلَى خُلُقٍ عَظِيمٍ The verily you are ala khuluqin azim, beyond what is called tremendous character, azim. Sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sahihi wa sallam. The nature of the human being, man, because we seek guidance from the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sahihi wa sallam, and we have to know something about ourselves. Now, it's not just being lost in literal statements like, مَنْ عَرَفَ نَفْسَ عَرَفَ رَبَّهَ that whoever knows himself, knows his Lord. But what is the prism by virtue of which we know ourselves? And what is the prism by virtue of which we know our Lord, subhanahu wa ta'ala? And it's impossible from the awwaleen and from the akhireen for anybody to arrive at Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, save by virtue of the great gateway, the Prophet himself, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. sallam. I.e., to simplify the equation, if you do not know him, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, you cannot know yourself. And if you do not know him, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, you cannot know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so the business is serious. The endeavor to know who the Prophet sallallahu wa sallam is. To come into knowledge of him. And this is a month where we have to come into something. Into life, real life. Part of life in the month of Rabi'ah, the spring, the first spring, the premier spring, is bringing ourselves back to life. Bihi, by virtue of him, sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sahi wa sallam. A man, you, me, I, all of us, we're the juxtaposition of physical realm. We're just a position of what? Of the metaphysical realm. Spirit and body combined. The supreme universe. Tahsabakum annaka jismun saghir wa fika tuwi al alam al akbaru. Sayyidina Ali wallahu anhu says, You consider yourself an insignificant being, but in you the entire cosmos has been gathered. In you exists the entire universe.